Hey everyone, hope you are having a wonderful end of the week. Wanted to pop on and do a surprise Friday video before I roll into fully all of the pickups that I got for the past two years. Um, decided to head to a local shop today and uh, pick up something. I, well, I really had it on pre-order and I decided after I after I made the decision to come back, I had really decided, okay, should I make a video on this? Should I not? Well, I would class this in grail territory, not necessarily, but it's something that I've wanted for quite some time. So back when I started collecting, I had a hit list of records that I wanted. And this one was on the list. It was never out on vinyl until today. And I'm actually trying to film this and get this up on the same day it came out. Worked a full day. Um, so I'm going to show this to you. We're going to open it up, see what's on the inside. I'm going to take a listen, and then I'll let you know first thoughts of the pressing itself. What I picked up is Natasha Bedingfield's Unwritten. So this is from 2004. This is a hip-hop inspired, R&B inspired uh, pop album. I love this album to death. Uh, the, the main songs that you would know from this are uh, These Words and Unwritten. But there are such really good other tracks on this, like I'm a Bomb, uh, Single. I love Frogs and Princesses. This this is a really good album. Here's the, the back for you. Um, I have had the CD before, and I do want to do a comparison of the packaging, because I'm used to, sorry for the glare here, I'm used to this being the packaging. So I'm gonna go over this packaging as well as this packaging as well. Uh, I have a history with this album and this is well before I was in that era of what I consider to be a heavy music fan. 2008 was when I really became a huge music fan. But this album to me uh, is one that I have wanted for quite some time. This represents an early era in my listening. Glad to finally have this. I believe this is the black, the state of black version. They did have a import that was on like an orange colored. So uh, I can't wait to open this up and show you what's inside. So let's cut here and I will head over to the table and unbox this. <clears throat> All right, we've made it over to my desk and here is the record. And here is the CD. So you can see there is a difference between two. I'm used to this cover, so I thought when this came out that this was going to be the cover we got. But this is the cover we got. I'm happy with it either way. Here is what the CD looks like. I've played this so much that it is... No, it barely even plays anymore. I don't even know if you can see that on there. Oh, you can see me. Hello. But here is what the packaging looks like. <clears throat> Put that down over there for just a second. That got away from me. Yeah. <clears throat> and lyric booklet here. So now let's see what the comparison looks like when we look at the vinyl itself do have my handy dandy safety knife but if you do use a knife you always always want to practice proper safety when you are using knives so I'm gonna go ahead and lightly get this open I'm trying to just try not to damage really anything Ooh. Actually, I'm just going to go ahead and use that here off camera. One moment. Okay. <clears throat> so, there we are. And let's also take a quick look at the back as well. So there is the 
song information. This is on the Epic label. And what comes in a side is, ooh, a really nice booklet here. Okay, so there's the lyric sheet, which is really nice. I like this. And then, of course, the record itself. Bear with me just a moment. <laughs> I'm going to have to put it in one of these really nice sleeves. So let's take a look at the picture sleeve that it's in. Really nice. Let me take a look at this. Oh, these are all the uh, song credits. Really cool. Now it is, it is the standard black, but I'm gonna go ahead off camera and get it out of the actual sheet itself. There you go. It's on black wax. Ooh. I'm going to have to brush that off. But let me take a look at the information here on the dead wax. See if I can denote anything. It doesn't look warped. It looks okay. I'm going to have to check that on the turntable. Bear with me just a second while I do that. Definitely does not look warped, or if it is, I can't really tell. Vinyl looks clean itself. I can't really tell if there's any no fill in here, but I'm gonna go ahead and pop this on the turntable. And when we cut back next, I will give my overall impressions. So I just finished my first listen and it's fantastic. It This pressing is Amazing. I didn't really glean any information from the dead wax. There really wasn't that much in terms of etchings. It was very faint. So I'm going to have to consult Discogs or consult something, take a picture or something to figure out uh, any mixing or anything that was done. Uh, very good sound wise, very good um, when it came to the, the mixing and everything else. Um, Bottom end sounded really good. Everything sounded really good with this pressing. There were a few moments where there was some cracks and popples, cracks and pops here and there. But overall, I'm very, very happy with this pressing. Again here, if you wanted to take a look again. Uh, I'm very happy with it. Uh, the, like I said, this is a Holy Grail-ish record, white well record for me. So coming up, in the next little bit, in the next few weeks, you're going to be seeing me talking about my collection, the things I've picked up. I have a few other videos, ideas floating around, but for the next little bit, you're going to be seeing incremental updates uh, weekly because when you do <laughs> over two years, there's about like, they counted close to 100 records. So rather than have you sit here and watch like a three hour video, I decided to make it a little bit of fun and make it like a mini series to catch up um, with everything. So yeah, wanted to post a quick video here on a Friday. I'm not sure if I'm going to release this video, the, the video after this the next day, or if I'm going to hold off for a week. I'll debate that uh, tomorrow. But uh, thank you so much for checking this out. If you are checking this out on Friday or if you're checking this out on another day, I hope uh, whatever day you're checking this out that you have a wonderful day or time or evening or whenever you are watching this. As I say at the end of everything I'm in, when the waters get rough, please keep on sailing. Uh, and with that, that's another video in the books. Take care. Um, let me know down in the comments below um, if you've listened to this album, if you picked it up. I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. Again, thank you so much for watching. Take care until next time. Bye.